They say dogs can smell fear. Did you know that some humans can as well? You reek of it. Tyson. I prefer 3XK. How long has it been since I left you and Detective Ryan in that motel room? Somebody! Help! Somebody! I need some help in here! They can't hear you. Or see you. I'm afraid I'm much more thorough than that. You did that, see? You killed Tessa. She's not my type. I prefer blondes, remember? Here's a much more believable story. You killed Tessa. It practically writes itself. After all, you commit murder every day in your mind for your books. It's not hard to imagine that you'd eventually cross the line. Why are you doing this, Tyson? Four years, Castle. I gave up four years of my life planning the perfect vanishing act so that the cops would stop looking for me so that I could begin again, could begin killing again, so that I could taste that fear again. Four years. You ruined it. Well, if it's revenge you wanted, why not just kill me? Where's the fun in that? No, 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 it's more fun to destroy you. Why do you think I let you live that night in the motel? People think it's killing that I like, but murder's just an act. It's all about the anticipation, the planning, watching you and your daughter taking a walk, you and Beckett making love, standing in your living room, being inside your life, knowing that I'm gonna take it all away from you. That's what I like. You won't get away with this. Oh, please. What are you gonna do? You gonna tell them that I came here? You think that they're gonna believe the lies of a desperate man? Beckett will. Huh? Even if she does, she can't save you. There's no time. When the DA files charges tomorrow, they're gonna send you to central booking, the tombs. I have people waiting for you. You will not last the night. And that'll be her punishment, believing that you were innocent and not being able to stop it. It'll haunt her for the rest of her life. Lucky for you, you'll be dead. 